Hey guys, welcome back to the Butterfly Effect podcast. My name's Liam, I'm joined by Jack. Hello. And as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, this is another bonus episode. Uh, we're doing another Reddit React. And uh, today, uh, our question is about Dark Pictures Anthology again, like the last one was. Uh, this one is, would you like to see cross-platform introduced for shared story mode? Uh, so Jack, would you like to see cross-platform introduced for shared story mode? Yes, absolutely yes. In the last video, you could say that my opinion was slightly swayed. That's not going to happen this time. And I think it's fair to say that the vast majority of the community agrees. So four out of five people said, yes, I need to link up with other Dark Pictures Anthology friends. But what I find astonishing is that one in five people are happy as it is. So, yeah, mate, do you want to start to take us through the comments or have you got any thoughts to add to that? Yeah, I guess I just have to agree with you and say yes. Um, a big reason for us, though, right, is that you're an Xbox gamer and I was a PlayStation, now on PC gamer. So there's no way we could play these games together. However, I like to think that if there was a cross-platform, we'd probably tackle uh, The Devil in Me for the first time together, right? Or, you know, at least try a playthrough that yeah. way. Yeah, I just think it would be a really interesting thing to do. And it's such a shame that uh, there's no cross-platform. And I know that is very difficult and it often takes games a lot of time to do the tea thing to initiate that. However, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of potential there for cross-platform. And it really baffles me that one in five people um, have said, no, I'm happy as it is. What I'm interesting to see is whether that no equals no, I don't want that at all, or no, that doesn't apply to me. But I just... And as uh, you'll see from the first comment, uh, we've got Carden404, thank you for commenting. Uh, there's literally no way that would be a bad thing, lol. And he's got seven upvotes. And Carden, I completely agree with you. How is this a bad thing? Jack, can you think of any negatives for introducing cross-platform? I genuinely can't. I genuinely can't, apart from, you know, the potential for, you know, a broken connection, lag, glitches, but that all seems to happen anyway. So other games do it. I think, you know, obviously, like your Battle Royales, they all do cross-platform, and the whole selling point of this game is to sort of bring people together, whether it be through shared story or, you know, through movie night, you know, you're sort of taking control of these characters lives and the dynamic of having two people in the same game is a brilliant idea that they you know that they implemented for it but to just expand that further into cross platform would be absolutely amazing so i've got nothing bad to say for it whatsoever yeah it's it's and it's baffling because we, we we've it's not just a few people it's 60 that's one in 5 have said no that they don't want this and um, it's a real shame, actually, because I, there's none of the no commenters that have really gone in the comments. Well, none at all, really. We've got Wild Balzil, thank you very much for commenting, who's written, I almost went with no because I only play with friends for the first playthrough. I have a group of friends that gets together and plays the new DPA game for Halloween. After that, I get it for myself and play through and go for the 100%. But I'm not too social to begin with, lol. So for me, it just doesn't matter either way. Of course, there's no reason to not have cross-platform, if possible, so I went with yes. And yeah, I completely agree. Even if it isn't for you, uh, even if you play solo, surely you sh that shouldn't stop others from, you know, for example, like us two, who would very much benefit from this feature, from being able to have it. For a second, I nearly thought Wild Balzer was saying no, uh, because it didn't apply to them, and I thought that's, <laughs> that, that's a bit selfish, but yeah, you rectified it at the end of your answer. Um, but, you know, this doesn't mean that, um, although I, I can't see any reason for it to be no, it doesn't mean I'm right. And I, I'd really love, if you're a no person, to comment and tell me why, because I'd love to understand it. Um, yeah, I mean, Jack, we've got one more comment now. I'll leave that one for you. Yeah, so uh, Dan F4691 says yes a thousand times in capital letters. Yes! 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 So I think he's just as enthusiastic as we are 
uh, if this were to happen. And also a special shout out to him as well. Um, he recognised that we wanted to get as big a reach as possible uh, to people so that they can, you know, have their opinion on this partic uh, particular question. And he did so by sort of giving the post awards. So, yeah, a little, a little special shout out to Dan F4691. Yeah, thank you very much, Dan. It, you know, it means a lot for us. We're quite a small new channel and it's, you know, a very fresh product for us. So it is, it means the world to see, you know, someone do something like that. And I completely agree with your opinion. Yes, a thousand times. Uh, yeah, I'm just still trying to, as we record this, to think of reasons why people would say no. And I'm thinking, like you say, um, I used to play Rocket League cross-platform and, you know, there used to be the argument that potentially the game would lag more if there was cross-platform because someone's bad internet would clash with yours and there could be connection issues. But I don't know, the engines seem pretty fine at the moment and I'm sure that could easily be fixed and rectified over time. And even certain games give you the option to enable it. Surely it could be the thing. If you're a PlayStation gamer and you're happy to only play with PlayStation people and you don't want to see those like horrible PC or Xbox gamers come over, whatever your opinion is... Surely it shouldn't stop other people from benefiting from the future. Surely you should be able to tick a box that says, I want cross-platform or I don't want cross-platform. Yeah, so I don't know what you think of that, Jack. See, that's it. Because, I mean, you know, I know you're on PS4, PC. You know I'm on Xbox. So if we were to arrange to set up the game, we would sit down and, you know, work it out together, wouldn't we? So, you know, I suppose there would be an argument to be against it if you know you wanted to randomly search for a player but then if that's not your thing then don't search for a random player you know play it solo get get friends over for movie night or you know to find someone in the xbox community that'd want to do it so yeah I'd, i'm scratching my head here as as to why as to why 60 people said it that way but as you said before, would love to know because, you know, I'm I'm very much, you know, I'm I'm in the trenches with my position on this particular subject. So, yeah, agreed. So, um, yeah, we noticed that uh, we had 301 votes for that one. That is a lot. So, uh, thank you very much for getting your comments in. Um, also, if there's another question or a poll you'd like us to maybe put up or anything, please let us know. You know, we're we listen to our fan base a lot uh, and we'd love to, you know, know how to advance and we'd love to hear your opinion. So um, thank you very much for contributing and thank you very much again, Dan F4691 for the award. Um, anything else to add there, Jack? No, no, that's it from me. All right. Thank you guys until the next one.